Hey, hey Dean. Dean. Yeah, hey, you guys, we're out here on uh, Michigan Avenue, just outside the gates for the biggest music festival in Chicago, one of the biggest in the country, Lollapalooza 2023, getting ready to kick off. 170 performers on eight stages in, uh, out here. First time headliners include Kendrick Lamar and Billie Eilish. Also headlining this year, Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, Red Hot Chili Peppers, electronic duo Odessa, singer, songwriter, Lana Del Rey, Carol G, first female Latin performer to headline a Lala stage will be out here. British superstars, the 1975 and the K-pop group TXT performing. Right now, the only tickets you can still get for this would be one day tickets for Saturday only. Everything else is waitlisted, but you can get more info on that at Lollapalooza.com. The fans have been out here since very early this morning. Uh, getting ready to get in line to go inside at 11 o'clock. We talked with some of them. Why did you want to be here? What time did you get here to be the first one in line? Like 4.30. Yeah. yeah. Why did you want to get here so early and get a jump on it and beat everybody else? For one person, and that's Billie Eilish. Yeah. <laughs> what is what is the uh, attraction that you're going to stand out here for like 13 hours to see Billie Eilish? I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like... It's everything, so long, yeah. You know, like, yeah, we've been fans for like years. We've all been friends, and like we go to all her shows together and we festivals around the yeah. country, and honestly, the world to see yeah. her. Yeah. So, yeah. and we all, like, got from we all met because of her. Like, we all live like the three of us like came as a group. Like, we live in Florida, she lives in Ohio. I'm in like, California. she's yeah. like we all We're know each everywhere. other through her. So it's kind of like our outlet to be able to like see each other and meet new people. Yeah, it's uh, a big deal for uh, all these fans who are out here this morning. What are some of the most anticipated shows this year? We talked with Fred from the Fred Morning Show on KISS 103.5 FM. Well, for me, a big highlight is always your outfit that you wear to Lollapalooza. Because last year, I it was crazy. He wore a cowboy hat. He wore cowboy boots, short jean shorts, and a mesh NBA jersey from a player I'd never heard of before. And yep. it was incredible. You fit right in. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Hey, don't forget the lasso that I had uh, also while I was you interviewing You didn't have a, the lasso. I, yeah. I, I remember the, the lasso. So, so, Perry Farrell, bring him on over for an interview. I know. I saw you trying to do that. Um, and then they asked you to leave. But uh, aside from <laughs> that, I, it, it probably the Red Hot Chili Peppers would be my highlight, to be honest, because I've never seen them live, and I do feel like that's a band everybody needs to see one time. But I am excited to see them. The 1975, uh, a little more contemporary, big fan, even though their style is sort of 80s, maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just a, an 80s guy, 80s, 90s guy, but I'm excited to see them. Of course, Kendrick Lamar, uh, you know, Billie Eilish, everyone around here can't wait to see Billie Eilish. Uh, the lineup is really good this year. Yeah, today's headliners, Billie Eilish at 8.45 tonight, Carol G at 8.40, Carly Rae Jepsen at 7 o'clock. You can get the full schedule. More information on our website. We've set up a special section just for Lollapalooza, WGNTV.com slash Lollapalooza. Say hi to everybody. Wave to Chicago. Wave, wave. Oh, look at the enthusiasm out here. The kids just love their Uncle Dean. Oh, and we had our first uh, weed uh, smoke. Uh, smelling out here today. So it's going to make the morning a little easier. I'll send it back to you guys.